Hi everybody, my name is Oscar Elias Mahano. It's great to be with you. Remember to stay safe by washing your hands and wearing a face mask correctly. Today, we are going to talk about the first conditional if and should and might. Let's focus on the class. Take a look at the following situations. Number one, if you get a new job, you should really buy nicer clothes. Number two, if you need someone to help you move, I might be able to help. In this case, we are using the first conditional because we are talking about hypothetical or unlikely situations. En este caso utilizamos el primer condicional debido a que estamos hablando de forma hipotética. Es decir, no estamos seguros que suceda. Let's see some other examples. Class, here we have more examples. Repeat the sentences after me. If it's a sunny day tomorrow, we might have a pool party. Very good. Let's continue. Sentence number two. Repeat after me. If we hurry, we might catch the early train. Nice. The first conditional is a linguistic structure which is used to express a consequence or result in the future due to a specific hypothetical situation that is being accomplished or not. El primer condicional es una estructura lingüística que se utiliza para expresar una consecuencia o resultado en el futuro debido a una situación hipotética específica que se está cumpliendo o no. We have two sentences. Tenemos dos oraciones. Number one. If you get a new job, you should really buy nicer clothes. Como podemos ver, en la primera oración, en la primera parte, usamos if para hablar de la condición. Y en la segunda parte de la oración usamos should para hablar de un posible resultado. Sentence number two. If it's a sunny day tomorrow, we might have a pool party. Nuevamente, en la primera parte de esta oración tenemos el uso del if para hablar de una condición. Y en la segunda parte de la oración usamos might para hablar de un posible resultado. So remember, to create the first conditional, we should place the if condition at the beginning plus the statement in simple present tense. This is the condition class. Then write down the subject plus the model auxiliaries, should or might, and the statement in simple present tense. And this will be the result class. Look at the examples. Veamos el ejemplo. Aquí tenemos las dos estructuras para formar una oración usando el first conditional. En la primera parte de la oración, que es para formar la condición, tenemos la estructura if plus subject plus simple present tense. Y para formar la segunda parte de la oración, el cual es el resultado, tenemos la estructura subject plus the model auxiliaries should or might plus simple present tense. Y así formamos la oración. If it's a sunny day tomorrow, we might have a pool party. Nice. 
Now, it's time to put into practice what we already know. You're getting there. We are going to make some exercises. Say which of the following statements are grammatically correct. Select just one, A or B. Ahora realizaremos una serie de ejercicios. Seleccionen una de las dos oraciones, la que está escrita correctamente. Exercise 1. Letter A. If you get a new job, you should really buy nicer clothes. Letter B. If you got a new job, you should really buy nicer clothes. Perfect. The correct statement is the letter A. Keep it up. Number two, letter A. If you need someone to help you move, I might be able to help. Letter B. If you need someone to help you move, I might be able to help. Letter A. Well done. Let us continue. Exercise number three. Letter A. If it's a sunny day tomorrow, we might have a pool party. Letter B. If it's a sunny day tomorrow, we might have a pool party. Yes, the letter B. Exercise number four. Listen. Letter A. If we hurry, we might catch the early train. Letter B. If we hurry, we might cut the early train. Excellent. It is the letter A. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.